Hi guys, my name is Tanya and in today's video we're going to draw this cozy cottage using the wonderful application Affinity Designer. I will use some familiar techniques you may have already seen in my previous videos. For this particular illustration it's important to have a sketch. I made mine swiftly using Procreate, but you can either make your own or use mine which can be found and downloaded in the description below. Also, we will need some brushes with grain effect. I made mine a long time ago. They're not perfect, but they will work with this illustration just fine. You can also download three grain brushes in the description below. I'll begin by creating a new document with a size of 2000 pixels. Now, if you don't care to have a global colors, you can import my color palette, which also can be found in the description below the video. If you would like to use the global colors, you'll need to add each color individually using the Add Global Color feature. Global colors allow you to change the color of your illustration everywhere it was applied. Now we can begin our drawing. Our first step will be creating the first shapes with the pen tool. Now the windows will be yellow in color. We can also proceed by merging the shapes of the windows to make our work just a little bit easier. To make our window frames more appealing, we can use some built-in brushes in Affinity Designer. To do that, first draw a line using the pen tool, then select the brush you like the most. I used one of the brushes from the pens menu. Drag and drop the lines we drew inside the windows lawyer so it will appear to be masked. The next thing I will do is draw wavy lines using the pencil tool. Make sure to only do this within the windows lawyer. I used a darker color and one of the Affinity's built-in watercolor brushes. I also added a few simple white lines. transform the building from two-dimensional to three-dimensional, we can create another shape and drop it within the building lawyer for the mask to work. Once you've completed this step, you can use the transparency tool to create a gradient effect in this shape. In order to get a more slick effect, make sure to mask the window frames. Now the tiny roofs will have an intriguing grain effect. Using the masking effect, draw a line and choose the most intense grainy brush possible. You can duplicate this lawyer and make a larger brush size with more opacity to achieve an effect similar to mine. At this point, I think I'll make these roofs a little darker than the background to create a better contrast. Now repeat the same operation for the big roof. For the chimney, I used the same color as the roof itself.
I used different designs from the sketches for the front of the building and decided to draw a different door and a simple window on top. Copy and paste the wavy lines we drew before and apply them once again to the rest of the windows. On the top window I used the transparency tool that so that window would not be so dark and intense. Now it's time to add some grainy shadow effects. To do that, use the mask tool and draw a line under the roof using the grain brush you like the most. I also prefer to use various blending modes for the shadows. Also, the top window should always be placed under the lawyer with grain shadows. This empty space over here is a great place for a lamp or a lantern, as well as maybe a welcome sign or anything of the sort. You can draw whatever you like, just make sure to stick to the same techniques and colors. Using the pen tool and the light color from the palette, we can draw some smoke from the chimney. We can add some blurry light on windows. To do that, just draw a yellow ellipse, go to the effects stop and turn on the Gaussian blur. Our house is finally done! It's time to create some trees and bushes around your house to build some scenery. Of course, you can create whatever you like. It can be a lake, a mountain, grass or anything else. Just make sure to stick to the color palette and same techniques I used in this video.
For the final touches, I'm adding some moon and stars and a little blurry shining behind the house. You can also add decorations inside videos, for example silhouettes or curtains. If you are drawing this illustration with the global colors, you will be able to change it very easily. Just double click on any color in the color palette and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to click on the like button and subscribe for more illustration videos. Comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks once again and bye bye!